If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Fail and fail often. These are things that you hear a lot when people are trying to explore new things and try new things out. And as they're inventing things and all kinds of, uh, all kinds, there's tons and tons, dozens of different quotes out there about failing and learning from those failures to find success. And that is exactly what this video is about with my project, the Soma Cube Puzzle. Welcome back everybody. So yes, this was a project that I royally failed. I mean royally failed. And I didn't think I was actually going to recover the project because I wasn't really sure on how to make it work. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. I saw a video by Chris Ramsey. Uh, he's a magician and he's doing a ton and tons of different puzzle videos where he gets a puzzle and sometimes they're hundreds or tens of thousands of dollars or there's something very simple like a simple 3d printed puzzle and he solves them on camera which is very cool i watch pretty much every one of his videos i think it's astounding to watch his process as he kind of goes through the different puzzles and how he thinks to try and solve them some things he gets very quickly some things you kind of yell at the screen like why aren't you figuring this out everyone does that uh, so i saw him have a laser cut mostly laser cut there's a bit of 3d printing in it but a laser cut soma cube puzzle very similar to this one here but of course it was laser cut out of wood it looked very very nice and i was like you know what i think i can make that or as bobby dugart says i want that so i decided to go down the path of creating my own and this was very very quick and easy modeling in fusion 360 and i modeled up all seven of the different parts that go in this cube and they are seven different shaped objects, uh, cubed objects, and all of these are printed with Protopasta's filament. I have a ton of different ones here that I've been using, and uh, these are all basically samples from their endless possibilities, and I love that. It's just the right amount of filament for me to use for various projects like this one, and there was enough for me to screw up and print this entire puzzle and then some to figure out that I don't know what I'm doing. Magnets are a very interesting thing. Um, I think they're quite the wondrous object, honestly, on how they just work. They attract to each other and make a nice connection. But the problem is, is that these little flat ones that I'm using here, um, well, they only go one way. So this one, is oriented in a way that it connects to all the other ones that I've made. But when I try to connect any of the other two pieces together, they repel each other. They don't want to stick at all. They actually want to throw each other away because they are both the same poles and they can't flip. And this is one thing I could not figure out is how do they flip? How do they do that? So I started looking into, Aaron suggested something about what Magnetiles or Magniformers does. Well, Magniformers has a barrel magnet that rolls and Magnetiles use two magnets opposite of each other, north and south, right beside each other. So that way, no matter which way you connect it, it will always be the opposite orientation of any other Magnetile out there, which is very cool, uh, very interesting piece of engineering but I don't want to put two magnets in every one of these. It's a little bit much. I've already lost a ton of magnets just putting them into here. So I was, I don't know what I was doing, thinking, looking online, and I found these little guys. These are ball bearing magnets, and they're meant for uh, like kind of like stress play, basically. And they are just very, very small. I want to say these are uh, five millimeter or four millimeter magnetic balls, and they go apart. They go right back together. Um, very cool. I was able to get a pack of, I don't know how many, they came in a cube about this big. There's tons of them. Quick warning, if you have small children, be very careful with these. Magnets are super dangerous for small children, especially if they are ingested. So if you have little, little ones and you buy these, please put them somewhere very safe, up high, where they cannot get to. Uh, my children are thankfully beyond eating things, so I didn't feel too bad having these sitting on my desk. So, okay, I'm gonna use these now 
And this is my current setup. I have just these, you know, six millimeter by three millimeter magnets that I was using. How do I get these ball bearing magnets to fit inside one of these cubes, still be accessible, still be able to be pushed in there and have enough space to rotate so that if they come in contact with another object that has a magnet in it, they will always rotate to each other in order to connect to each other. That is what we need to figure out. So I got on the task of printing some very tiny test cubes here. And these are, I think these are like 10 by 10s. And what I did is I printed them until I found the proper size inside. So it's actually is a seven millimeter um, hole inside that is cut off at the top so that the ball bearing is just there, just visible, so that they are able to connect to it. Okay, so my mic died, awesome. So what I'm talking about here is just basically how I got these to work, which was adding in that seven millimeter void for a five millimeter ball bearing, which gave it some space to go in there. Now I did have to print these uh, three different orientations. So I'm showing that here where I printed one with the hole up, one with the hole down, and one in the hole in the side. Now, in order to get these to fit properly, some of those holes need to be different size. Mainly the ones on the side, they needed to be a little bit smaller, but the ones at the top and bottom of the print were fine at the default settings that I set them to. Now, how did I get these put in? So I used these great big pair of Lyman pliers that Aaron sent to me a while back, probably almost two years ago now, and I put a ball bearing on it, and then I push into these with quite a lot of force, and it's quite a loud like, snap when it goes in. Now this is really important because you don't want these balls to come back out. These mag Again, they're magnets, they're dangerous, so we want to make sure they stay in there, and I had to find a good mix of easy enough to really put it in without deforming it but yet it's in there tight enough it cannot come back out no matter what happens so i was able to get that to work out well So as you can see there, uh, sorry, my audio cut out, so I'll try to get back to what I was at. But uh, yeah, so it was very fun. Again, I failed hard on this one, but I definitely was able to recover and figure out what I did wrong, learn something new, remodel it, and and persevere and go forward. And, and I was, I'm very happy with this regardless. So what I will do is I'll put a link down below where you guys can download this model. And I'll also put some links down below for the different, for these little ball bearing magnets that I used. Uh, to make this and again it does require a good bit of force so using something like a pair of Lyman pliers hold the magnet there and push those down and in uh, really did work out um, but you have to have a pretty tight tolerance all of these were printed on hound my uh, bear 2.1 build and that was uh, it's a pretty good printer it works out really well it's actually printing right now hopefully it's not too loud while I'm recording this video so all that will be down below I hope you guys will print this out if you do post some pictures on printables with the colors you've used and how everything worked for you. I'd love to know and hear from you. And using that link will help the channel. So I greatly appreciate all of you for doing that. I thank you all for joining in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I learned a little bit about the process that it takes me when I fail and I come back and I do get to a working product in the end. My microphone battery died again. So that's it for me. I hope you all print this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy printing and I'll see you all next time.